Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing some brand new news in relation to the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. To be more specific, today we've got some brand new news to talk about in relation to the console ports of One Night of Flumpties 1, 2, and the upcoming One Night of Flumpties 3. It's always very hype inducing whenever we get some new news for the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, and this one being no different. Back when Scott Coffin first announced the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, one of the titles that I was most excited for was definitely One Night of Flumpties 3, but at this point, I'm not really sure which I'm most excited for anymore. I'm certainly extremely excited for all five of the projects, but I'll do a quick rundown of my top three most excited for. The game that I'm most excited for is definitely FNAF Plus, for sure. I love the character designs for FNAF Plus, I love the trailers for FNAF Plus very much, it's, it's marketed in a very good way, especially the newest trailer breaking and entering. It also looks like it's going to be genuinely creepy as well, which is very good, and it's going to be really, really good to re-experience that original FNAF 1 feeling in a totally different way. In second place would be One Night of Flumpties. One Night of Flumpties is by far one of my favourite FNAF fan games of all time, and I'm so glad that it made it into the fanverse. The art style and animation are amazing, and the characters are very goofy and likeable. The game's very simple, yet very addictive as well. I constantly find myself coming back to beat the two single nights that each game has to offer. And finally, my number three pick would go to Pop Goes Evergreen. Again, I really like the way that Pop Goes Evergreen is being teased, you know, through um, Pop Goes Arcade and also through the Doco Charlie's Dreams. I really like that. The brand new character redesigns for Pop Goes Evergreen looks really good as well, and of course I also really like the Pop Goes cast. Anyhow, let's get on to the actual news topic of this video, alright? So, basically what happened earlier is that Click Team released on their channel footage of the main menu for the One Night at Flumpty's console port slash egg collection. So allow me to go onto YouTube and show you what it looks like. So if you're gonna go on over to Click Team's official YouTube channel, would you check this out? The egg collection menu footage, of course being for One Night at Flumpty's. This is for the console ports and this is really exciting when I saw this. Very, very cool. So we get some footage of what the menu screen is going to look like for all three of the games. It actually did show a little bit of Flumpty's 3, which is really exciting. It was really, the it was just flicking through Flumpty's 1 and 2 at first and the anticipation was high. So let's take a look at it. I've already watched through this, but I'm going to show it to you in case you haven't seen it. So there's the Fazbear Fanverse logo. And look at this. You got a sick remix going on here. One Night of Flumpties, the egg collection. That's going to be the name of the bundle because if you aren't aware, the console versions is going to be a bundle of all three of the games. Flumpties 1, Flumpties 2 and Flumpties 3. I can't remember. I don't think you can buy them individually, but maybe you can. If so, they aren't going to be very expensive because as you know, the One Night of Flumpties games are very, very short. And of course, you've got these renders. These artwork looks very high quality. We've seen these before, however, on the loading screens of the mobile ports. We have seen these um, like exact pieces of artwork before. As you can see, there's going to be a volume, you know, adjustment and decrease. So that's very sick. And look in the bottom there. One Night at Flumpties 3. That's the one that we want to take a look at. So, of course, we always seen One Night Flumpties 1 and 2, the artwork and whatnot. But it also does show some Flumpties 3 at, in, a, you know, a later stage. So you can see the controls at the bottom. Let's take a quick... And look, you can see it still says special thanks to Doco and all that. So that's cool that they kept that in there. So play game, hard boiled mode, volume, all the same stuff. Delete save file, quick game. I actually like how the Y and like, you know, it's not a full circle it's in the shape of an egg. That's really cool, I know. In relation to Flumpty, I really like that. It's very, very cool. And then hold that and um, hold the uh, like pause button during gameplay to return to the side of the screen. So yeah, it's just all the same stuff that you can do in the original versions of Flumpty 1 and 2. And in version 1, part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, one of Flumpty's games created by Jono Chrome. And also what's super cool is that Phil Morg, um, aka Fiznam, who you'll know, is the developer of FNAF Plus, actually to help out with One Night at Flumpty's, you know, console ports and whatnot, so that's really cool, isn't it? And look at the transitions are so smooth as well. So smooth. Oh, look at it, here we are. So One Night at Flumpty's free. You can see, we've seen that Flumpty render before, the artwork, it's not a render, it's artwork, but you can see Golden Flumpty's there as well, and the Red Man, and look at those poses, it looks sick, look at the lighting all, very, very nice indeed, and look at this, you can take a look at a, at a you know, a room, a location in Flumpty's 3, really excited for Flumpty's 3, of course we've never played Flumpty's 3 before, Flumpty's 1 and 2, they've been out for like 6 years now, they're just like direct ports again, they're already out in PC and mobile, but Flumpty's 3's gotta be completely new. Now, since the console, like, process does take a while, it will release on PC and mobile first Flumpty's free, so, of course, I'm not, me playing it on console is going to be my first time playing, I can't, I'm not going to wait that long, of course, I'm going to jump on it when it comes out in PC and mobile, I'm not going to wait till it comes out in console, but, 
it'll be great because console is my preferred way of playing so of course i'm still getting the egg collection for sure i want to play i really want to play slumpties on xbox it's gonna be such a good experience you know the sidetrack bopping though And of course you can see um, play volume and back, so yep, that's pretty much all there is to it. But yeah, it looks super cool indeed. I love the transitions actually, the transitions like flipping between um, eat. and then here's just the clicking thing at the end, so that's really nice. It's some really good news, it's good that the progress is being made, and I'm pretty sure it's probably basically finished at this point. Flumpty's 3 has been finished for a while now, and um, it's just a matter of waiting on these ports to come out. And yeah, we know Flumpty's is going to be the first, you know, one to come out. It's also the only game that's out in mobile so far. Flumpty's 1 and 2 is the only one that's made it to mobile thus far. And they've been out for almost a year now, so of course we know that Flumpty's is going to be the first one completed of the five titles in the fanverse. And yeah, hopefully, it, it's going to be drawing very, very soon, because if you go and click Team's channel... Where was that again? Yeah, here we go. One month ago, this was uploaded. Another Flumpty's video, and it was just showing some UI for console demonstration. Hi, see, you can see something. Like, you can see the games are basically complete, right? So Flumpty's is, who knows how far away, maybe only like a month away. Maybe it'll come out on Halloween, because that's actually when Flumpty's 1 released on mobile. I'm, I'm hoping possibly for a Halloween release, or at least for mobile and PC. We'll just have to wait and see, because Flumpty's 3 has been completed for quite a while now. Yeah, that's super cool. So that's basically all there is to it. Oh, and in other news, I'm just going to throw it in the end here. Curse of Dreadbear has released on Nintendo Switch. That's really awesome for all of the FNAF help on and Switch players. Of course, I've had Curse of Dreadbear on the PlayStation 4 since 2019. Um, but for all you Switch players who play Help Wanted, it is now out. If you want to jump on it right now, it is now out, and that's really exciting. $10, which is really good. If you aren't aware, Curse of Dreadbear is, one, in my opinion at least, one of the nicest experiences in FNAF VR. I love Cur Curse of Dreadbear so much. I've played for it so many times. The minigames are really good, and if you get it, I know you're going to love it. So, And that's everything. That's some news. We got One Night of Flumpties the menu for the console ports that's really exciting i'm hoping to see these very soon and of course i'll jump on them immediately so thanks for watching i'll see you next time